Hello, hello. This is the Awful and Awesome Entertainment Wrap, episode 252. This is Rajesh Sen. And this is Abhinandan Sekri. We bring you this episode, the video version, some of it will be available in, from our new studio, which I still call new because it still has a new studio smell. This week we have a two series, a film, a feature film, a documentary film, a music video, another v- music recommendation of me, Punjabi, and an ad. There's lots. There's an ad also? Have Did you just you thrown that Pepsi in? Pepsi Summer Anthem. Oh, that's a song also. Yeah, but it's basically the Pepsi song because each time they release it. So, uh, what is farming? There's a word over there. No, that's just a song. It's a Punjabi a song, song, which I shall explain to you. Okay. I thought you were just writing words. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> learned. I knew, you learned farming. <laughs> Seven letter word today with F, farming. Thank God it was just farming and nothing else. Rashi, I hope you watched everything. Because this <laughs> such uh, shoddy work will not be tolerated. Have you watched everything? Because you watched something which wasn't even on the list, which is now on the list. That's how you put it. And we'll also talk about Gangu by Kathiawadi. Have you? I watched. Okay. I watched three quarters. I couldn't watch them. Okay, I watched the promo. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I watched three quarters over ten days. I think so, I watched so, but ten minutes. Ten minutes. Like, I can give as many insights as you <laughs> by watching the promo that you can give after watching yeah, the film. We'll see. We'll see whether you can or not. So, but... Rashi, let's start off with uh, the documentary film that's on the list, The Mystery of Marilyn Monroe. Tell us about it. So, see, Marilyn Monroe was this actress and she died because JFK basically bumped her off. And okay, this, this is all documentary is you haven't proving seen it. that. You Does haven't it? seen it. No, because it wasn't supposed to be watched. The only thing he's watched in like <laughs> five years. Huh? Oh Have dear. you watched the full thing? You haven't even These watched the Indian full thing. Indian hosts who come to a show without doing any Have research, you watched nothing. The full thing is what I want to know. So it's about an hour and a half documentary film. Oh, uh, that too. Even I could have watched. I thought it's a series. I have watched. <laughs> uh, it's been directed by Emma Cooper. And uh, music is by Annie Nikitin. So it's on Netflix. It's basically... Basically, there's this journalist <clears throat> who has... I mean, I guess probably sometime in the 80s. Huh. He was revisiting this whole... You know, the the death of Marilyn Monroe. And he's the author of the book called Goddess. Okay. Which was released in 1985. Uh, and he began researching Marilyn Monroe. And he has interviewed like hundreds of people. And uh, he's got 350 tape recorded interviews. Okay. Uh, 650, sorry. And uh, so he was piecing together her life. What I mean, I haven't read this book. So it basically is not so much about her life as it is about her death. Hmm. All the speculation surrounding her death. As in why she, how she died. Yeah. Mm. And like, because like you said, there were a lot of rumors and that, you know, the FBI got her killed or the CIA got her killed or the, because, oh, you know, Kennedy himself Bob Kennedy, someone whatever it is. So her. it's now because these are all audio tapes, these are cassettes. Hmm. So it's very difficult to kind of make a documentary film with hmm. cassettes. So I think they've done, the, mean? Yeah, they've done a remarkable job given the circumstances. Um, and this journalist, he is the protagonist because through him everything happens. Hmm. They've got actors to play the people, so the voices are real. So yeah. let's say, you know, you're talking to me. Hmm. So the audio is real, but the lip syncing is by an actor. So okay, okay. You get some sort of set of sense of like the real person talking to you. So I would say it's a compelling watch. It's about, uh, you know, I mean, it it keeps you interested. Some of it is contrived, but I think that's a Netflix thing. Like hmm. you take someone down a wrong path and then oh, say, and oh, then but that say, oh, didn't but that's happen. Not, huh? <clears throat> but the following things are noteworthy. Let me consult my notes. Because they're noteworthy. Because they're noteworthy. Considering it is just audio, hmm. they've done a pretty good job. I want this guy's cottage. It is the most amazing cottage. I don't know. I think he lives in Ireland somewhere. You're taking his cottage. Poor don't thing is a journalist to say it money. old man. And, huh. So, uh, the thing about Marilyn Monroe is that, you know, as you get to know her through this documentary, what really comes out, comes across is that how... Lonely she was. Lonely, but how deeply flawed she was. I mean, I can get why... You know, she reminds me a bit of Daisy from uh, Fitzgerald's uh, Great Gatsby. Gatsby. Ditsy, but also 
could be insensitive because she was so much about herself. It's just me, me. But she me. had a very tough life when she was she growing did. up as Norma Jean. <clears throat> yeah, but you know, it's just about me. Like her attraction, like to cameras and mics, which you mm. can see no matter how horrible a situation is. She's gone on a honeymoon, and wherever there's a camera, mic, she like yeah. going. She doesn't want to perform for people. Mm. And in fact, they have many interviews of hers recording where she says, "Sex is." you know so unnecessary and so overrated or something like that she says that clearly she wasn't interested in intimacy she was just interested in being a star that was her at least that's what comes across i mean that's not what they're trying to prove but and the other thing that comes across is and this is something that i've over the last 7 or 8 years mm mm-hmm. the more i read about the kennedys or hear about the kennedys they were horrible they were such dicks man they were real the, dicks what, and the things know. they've got away with mm. that uh what was it called chapaquidic the where that girl died in the car and ted kennedy's uh career almost got derailed he was in the car and uh she the car drove into they were all drunk he was a little drunk and they were great womanizers the yeah kennedy in fact their father told them this apparently huh. this is his advice to them was get laid as often as you can with as many women as you want which is what they seem to वेरी चेकर्ड हिस्ट्री सो अब इट्स it it gives you a deeper insight into uh, marilyn monroe but the one thing that comes across is that she was spectacular she was made to be a star i mean there's i don't think there's anyone who has that star like quality the way she did and even like they've got footage of when she came out of rehab when she had gone there so to I get i was going to say that that she even came despite out, being drunk she came out and she knew that it was a hush hush that she's hmm. gone for rehab so she was depressed she was hmm. addicted so while coming out of that you resume she'd be like like looking hmm. like shit and really but as soon as the cameras and there's a mic she's in character and she answers the questions like i th- also, i mean it was a fascinating also i find it fascinating mm. and she's not the only one don't say i find it fascinating you not even watched it keep quiet i know Have everything about marilyn monroe's life don't even watch the film. It. <laughs> what kind of people no commitment to your one, are show are you sure you watched or you read the review when you're just no, saying not this? no commitment huh? nothing but uh, no i just felt that for someone who was like on gentleman prefer blondes and all she couldn't remember her lines she couldn't remember any lines that still when you see so it's credit to the editor and director that's also. even salman khan is known for no but salman your khan insight, is not making films like she did your insights of no just please keep useless. quiet this absolutely this is this is not an insight this this is <laughs> this is an outside get outside and lawrence olivier or go outside <laughs> It's very bad. I can't laugh at this. I'm crying with sadness. Lawrence Olivier <laughs> said he wanted to almost kill himself when he was doing uh, Prince and the Showgirl. I think it was called, and he acted with her to sort of boost up his career because he was on the downturn then. But she was so difficult to work with because she didn't remember anything. And at one point, but he that said, was I think a. Not her last one was Misfits, but before that, this is. But this is after problems that started. And Misfits is a lovely film, also when you watch it. And she, uh, that I her first her husband, that baseball player, Jody Maggio, was so buffooned looking. I mean, I can't believe he married her. He must have said, "Bida, mera thar jackpot lag gaya." He went to her grave every year till he died. Even though she, but they remained him. married for nine months only. Yeah, but so much love. That's what I'm saying. And in fact, they have one. Arthur Miller, she was very in love. Yeah, and they had this, this one uh, in the documentary film. There is he's being interviewed. They've gone for their honeymoon and they're in Japan. He says, "So, mm. how's your honeymoon been?" He says, "Well, I haven't seen much of her <laughs> uh, because she was off with the huh. troops and doing mm. something or the other." So basically, she wanted to be in. But yeah, it's a good documentary film. But does uh, it give just some it, conclusion? It on gives it. a conclusion, and it it's a very rational and reasonable conclusion. What I liked about it is that the conclusion is not unnecessarily alarmist, like that other one about that guy who dies, Crypto King. Oh, that too. You know, they go down to so, you know, the guy gives a very reasonable and rational conclusion, which is not. Um, which is that the Kennedys bumped her off. <coughs> Tell me, I don't then I don't. Spoiler. No, no one bumped her off, but there were hush ups. 
बट नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ एनी मर्डर बिकॉज दे जस्ट डेंट वॉन्ट टू बी असोसिएट बिकॉज शी वॉज आई डेंट नो शी वॉज विद बोथ दर्स and with the uh, mafia <laughs> and she was a, she had a tie with the very strong but at that point everyone no please read about marilyn Not monroe don't listen know. to him that he knows who marilyn monroe is itself is quite a miracle you watched any films with her yeah <laughs> what this film just the men prefer blondes this you love just that. that no tony curtis and, and diamonds uh, are girls best friend i haven't seen that I've seen Gentleman Frog. It was very funny because that's where Tony Curtis and one more guy, Jack Lemmon and Tony Curtis, pretend to be girls. It's very funny. It's <laughs> very funny. <laughs> so yeah, when this one and the postman always rings twice as hers. Is it not? Yeah, you don't, don't no. try to fluke your way through it. No, it's so, not hers, but it's a very good film. So guys, uh, just remind you all, uh, I'm going to be in London for a conference. and we will be hosting a subscriber meet up on the 21st of may uh, so if you want to you know where be a part of this uh, my colleague has figured that out okay. based on where, what where all the subscribers want hmm. so write to us at subscription@newslawney.com i repeat subscription@newslawney.com in the video version here is the email id it's also in the show notes and if you'd like to attend the meet up and if you have any suggestions of where we should do the meet up which can fit about 30 35 people do let me know so do write to us so rajshri um, you can read uh, both the emails to us that have come only are two they, have come this week are they complimenting me i don't know you can decide for yourself i only read emails which come from me wait i also want to talk about uh, you know the pressures that celebrity uh, <coughs> children are sometimes placed under okay this is from alisha I'm surprised Abhinandan did not comment on the title sequence of Severance an absolute masterpiece in graphics and sound surrealism at its finest with the <laughs> hauntingly beautiful soundtrack to accompany it chef's kiss I don't know what that means is that like when I kiss someone do they say this is a chef's kiss no that's kiss. the soundtrack Are you sure? Yeah. Also, huge fan of A and A. I've binge listened to all the episodes twice since August twenty twenty one. Thanks for the laughs, guys. Alicia, you're welcome. तेरा मुझसे है पहले कनाता कोई. You read my mind. You know, even I couldn't believe I didn't comment on that because <coughs> I had made it a point that I would. I had taken notes. You didn't take. But because notes. whenever I'm talking, my co-host interrupts and derails. Bullshit. My okay. Train of thought. <laughs> this is something I had made a note of that what a brilliant title sequence and I would never do the skip intro. I would always watch the intro in the Severance. Then why did you not mention it? Why aren't you doing it? Because you kept properly. interrupting and giving shit outside. Please, outside. I'm okay. I'm going to call all your views outside. So I'll not call them. And insights. my cousin Jason has written. Hmm. I no no Jason might not be my cousin also, but I'm just saying. Please review the Jaguar light ads. I feel they are good in shifting the consumer's mindset that Jaguar is not just a bath fittings company anymore. Would like to know your opinion. Okay, next time we will. Okay, Jaguar, just just and send us the links to the Jaguar ad. This is the shower, etc. Right? So uh, there's a very good cola ad which uh, Benedict Cumberbatch did on SNL this time, which is hilarious, absolutely on. the commodes that cola makes so y'all should watch it we'll have a link to that below but we'll watch the jaguar light hats also and now we will discuss something which abhinandan definitely has not watched which one thar i've watched that also beta chop ho gaya have you I, watched slow horses no cuz you told me not to <gasps> Nicole, did you or did you not lie? Tell me? Uh, you said don't bother. It's so shitty. What? No, it is fabulous. I said. You told me not to watch something. What something is that? which was shitty. I the must have. The baby or something? No. Yeah, the baby. But that's only on the list. Why because I've removed it? it that you will not watch it. Therefore. So no. So you have included two series of film and documentary film, and I've already specifically said only two long form things. So you have included I the have documentary. Included. I did not. I didn't put the documentary. But I'm just saying, Slow Horses is excellent, absolutely. Okay. Anyway, normally we will not have two series, one film, one Because documentary. Because one of the series I'm is still, two I'm episodes. Still talking. Still talking. We will not in future for our. <laughs> we will not have two series, one film, one documentary. Because many of us have other things to do. So, like I had committed once before, we will do two long form things, not four. Two is these are two fingers. But Gaslit is not these long form because only two episodes were out, so If it becomes a, short. 
Okay, no, but anyway, that is the rule. But anyway, that if you must talk rule. about this, you can talk about this. But <laughs> too long form is what is the rule? Hmm. Okay. Which one would you like to discuss that for? Neither, because I haven't seen any of them. You I haven't seen Gaslit also. Why will I watch it? I have too <laughs> long form. Nick, Why are you laughing away? Nada. This there's something wrong with okay, you. Okay, Gaslit. When you've been given a specific discuss, thing. No, no. Gaslit, we will discuss next time. Because Abhinandan will watch it yes. for next time. But he's not here next time. So we will discuss it the next time after next, next time. Next time, next to next Which time. Which is fine. Because then you'll have watched five episodes. Good. Okay? And you'll make an informed critique. Yes. One so, hopes. <laughs> so let's talk about Thar, the film. Fabulous, fabulous. Huh. So it's directed by Raj Singh Chaudhary. Written by Raj Singh Chaudhary. The dialogue is by Anurag Kashyap. I have a feeling the opening voiceover is by Gulzar. Because they thank him first. Yeah. And there's no song. So there can't be lyrics. So it must... that. And that VO sounded just like Gulzar. It's just the kind of thing he'd write. Vak Nikarvatli. Ha, so or then he oh, is. Something, something he has. Uh, it's produced by Harsh Vardhan Kapoor and Al Kapoor because that's the only way Harsh Vardhan Kapoor will get a role in anything. And it's also starring the two of them and Fatima Sana Sheikh. Who was in? Dangal. Dangal. It's cinematography is by Shreya Dev Dubey, Jay Oza and Swapnil Sonawane. And it is spectacularly outstanding. It is of a different level. Uh, but Rajshri, before I get into it, you tell us what you thought about Thar because you have... The you thought sort. it was spectacularly outstanding. The, the cinematography, yes. Oh, cinematography. you got to listen film. to what I'm saying. You can't just keep... Inter- you also also listen. No, no. Sometimes my brain hasn't trained to just stop Sunny. I just want to say that there's this uh, post out on social media and I believe it totally, which says, who's the most oppressed minority group in the world? What are the options? Women, people of color, LGBT community, gamers, and 200% is for Harshwardhan Kapoor. Because everyone is forever shitting on him. But he's also given an interview where he said, parents don't pay for my shit, it's sad reality. My parents have no interest in paying for my shit. I'd have had 10 times more than what I have, but I buy my stuff. It's the sad reality of my life. And now he's having to buy a one crore pre-owned Lamborghini instead of buying a new model for three crores. It is sad. Very sad. Because I feel he's like Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. He says he's a method actor. And what I thought was admirable in this film was that they didn't give him dialogues for 90% of the time. Which is a good way of dealing with someone like him. Which is the only role he does because he just has to look sad and depressed and, and not angry. talk. Angry also. He, does. he has that like scowl on his face and that role is the only role I've seen him do. Yeah. Why in that AK versus AK also was he sad? He was quite funny in that. In that he was kind of funny. Yeah. That's the only... So I think inside there is talent deep okay. inside but the film is basically like if you all haven't watched Sarfarosh it's Sarfarosh meets uh, Zakni Aurat Good Bad Ugly Good, bad, ug- and good, bad, good, bad, the good, the bad, the and the ugly. So it's a mix of these three. But there's no Amir Khan and there's no Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, but there is Harshwardhan Kapoor. Anil Kapoor does act well, though. Mm. I will give him. So it's set in the Thar Desert. In I'm the assuming. Rajasthan border, Rajasthan Pakistan border. There's smuggling happening of opium. Dr- yeah, it's set in the eighties. Um. And why does that matter? Because if there were mobile phones, it would have just killed the whole film. Because mobile yeah. phones kill a lot of plots. Yeah. Because why couldn't they mobile pay pick unique? Yeah. So that's a very difficult right to film that set in 2022. Yeah. And it's basically this cop who is in this small zilla, an inspector who's at the end of his career. He's six months from retiring. He hasn't moved beyond an inspector. He's dissatisfied with his life. Uh, and his con- sub-inspector or constable is Satish Kaushik. Mm. who also does a good job Uh, his wife is happy with the life because she gets free ration no one asks him for anything it's his boondocks back of beyond and nothing happens there until there is a sudden spate of murders and he's saying dude what the shit happened suddenly in our sleepy town village and there's this new guy also pops up which is Harshwadhan Kapoor who's come to hire people to work in Delhi and he needs labour he says for Delhi which is why he's come there and he's very intense and the women in this uh, village either look like they are like from the back or beyond and they have not known any sort of freedom or they are dressed like Choli Ke Piche Ke Aaya, yeah. Madhuri That's Dikshan. what even I thought. That in I the village, like, every, ba- 
everybody else obviously has been sitting out in 48 degrees yeah. hard desert sun the skin has got wrinkled and they and look like that way they've cast them they've, well except these two who <laughs> look like they've just stepped out of a nightclub in and what South blouses North. i want to know who their tailors are their blouses were spectacular <sighs> and they forget in a village in a thar desert over here also most women would not be roaming around with the uh, their breasts were saluting the sun through this entire film so fatima sana sheik and mukti mohan who is a dancer mukti mohan plays the other mm. wife and the story takes many twists and turns so at one point i thought maybe i should because i was doing something else on my laptop and watching But then the plot had changed. But I realized there is no plot really. So it started with opium trade. There is a plot, and it's predictable. And you would 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 have escaped. It was you. very bad. The plot. <coughs> so oh, Mandana <laughs> Karim is also there. Who's, who's the wife? Or who's right. the girlfriend? Who uh, Harsh's girlfriend? Right. That woman is Mandana Karim. And it sort of we won't give the twist because everyone, please watch this film because if we have people should also watch this film. Uh, you know, honestly, I think let me consult my notes. <coughs> so the dialogue and the camera work is amazing. It's, it's very really well shot. Good. It's you know it has these long shots. There's no quick editing. After a long time, I've seen a film where like shots go like eight seconds, seven seconds. Mm. It just goes like really long. um the style it's very stylized it's like it's obviously inspired by western sometimes they go a bit over that, that you know bull that ox lying there is such a shot from yeah. her it's and also just uh, like in the good the bad the ugly when like clint is to lend her village they'll have like a two and a half three second shot on this old wrinkled face just looking at yeah. him then they'll cut to a little child hmm. you know who looks at so they are doing a lot of this kind of stuff which is a bit contrived but not that much i i think the stylized kind of look and feel of this film is outstanding the cgi is very good because that uh, that kite that is flying is clearly not oh. an actual kite it is but yet it looks mm. real enough it looked i thought it was real okay i thought they got a kite and they trained it so <laughs> well that it'll it time really. its flight just as the car is coming and the camera so much i did not i just thought very nice shot very nice And so, acting is not bad. Yeah. Even Harshvardhan Kapoor does he his. He suits the role. Uh, but the plot is the weak link of this otherwise potentially very good film, because it fluctuates between being completely predictable. Like I knew why he was looking for them. Like the moment he was. You knew doing, that this had happened. Not exactly that, but I but knew there was some, in that uh, zone. Okay. okay? Ha, ha, ha. So that was a bit too. and the whole coming together of it now it can't be so random like there should be some plant in the beginning where they've said that this is why he's here. it it can't be this random killings are happening and this is the smuggler doing this and basically the plot was very weak i just thought that it had to be a little cleverer also i felt that they had you know they mixed too many genres in so they had these guys on horses right which is like shole the it's uh, a western thing even shole okay. was inspired by the yeah. early westerns but then you sunday everything is looking quite natural then you have these this tavern like no and no it's called also called tavern. tavern that is true it was basically they was by, it was so inspired by <laughs> the by by westerns that even in the 80s in rajasthan huh. places are called the tavern bar and all yeah. which and is, he's wearing dungaree like you know there are certain looks like it's a very western kind of look which you are everything else is seeming normal because even the laborers when they show them coming back they look like they've gone to delhi and worked there uh, like worked in the sun and all but then suddenly they cut to this guy who's wearing dungarees those uh, whatever it's called i forgot it breeches it's called he's wearing breeches it certain things are just weird and there were foreigners in that tavern what yeah. were those foreigners because doing they came from is... mondis and then yeah. they <laughs> the... but you know what gorakshaks were <laughs> what dungrees <laughs> do you get it so bad it's rees made of dung cuz the i got i understood no because you don't react you sometimes feel because you don't because i know i'm not <laughs> reacting because i don't want to be rude but i'm surprised that they didn't make mukti mohan dance though a little bit 
who's Mukti Mohan? I think she's the other wife, that other dhan, so dhanna. So why should they make her, make her Because dance? she's a like a professional dancer. She's on all these dance, dance, whatever so, I mean, dancing. I am, but India. I don't dance in this show. <laughs> we are going I to start am. that. We are going to have a little. That is going to be behind the paywall, the dance part. If you pay a premium, we have a dance subscription which you can. So all of News Laundry does a little number, but Abhinandan's is the main. But uh, it wasn't a great film. I didn't even think it was a good film. I felt it could have been much better if they had thought about this plot a little more. And this thing of gruesome violence is a little over the top nowadays. Even for me, who doesn't really get grossed out by stuff, you're just hacking people and all for no reason. But um, watch it and let us know whether even you, like me, think that Harshwadman Kapoor <laughs> is our answer to Robert De Niro. So you can write to us at podcasts at newslearning.com. I repeat, podcasts at newslearning.com. We only read out the emails of subscribers. You can also click on the link in the show notes below. It will take you directly into this window where you can write out your email and address it to the podcast of your choice. Uh, so please keep the word count below 200 words. Uh, I've got another interview <laughs> okay. of Harsh Kapoor Sorry, no, where no. he's... I've, no, start again. I've got another interview of Harsh Kapoor where he said, if I had my way, I would do one film every two years. I think he's got his dream because that's pretty much what happens. This is why you should not shoot your mouth off about these things. But in 2016, he'd given this interview because he focuses. I'm glad you're reading. <laughs> you know, you... I love Harsh Radhan Kapoor. You read Harsh Radhan Kapoor interviews. You, I you read Fardin Khan interviews. You're telling me about Harsh Radhan no, Kapoor. I don't read his Harsh interviews. Harsh is a method actor. I just saw his face in the Delhi Times <laughs> and I picked it up. <laughs> like that only. Even I want to see Harsh Kapoor's face and pick it up only like that. <laughs> so, uh, on that note, that's it for the video. For the rest, it is only audio version of this podcast. Please subscribe and pay to keep news free because our journalists need the support because you've seen what's happening in news all around you. I'm sure you're sitting and whining about it and saying how horrible this, uh, you know, hate news, etc. is. But the question is, what are you doing about it? Hate news is the way it is because it is supported by advertising. If you want news to support and serve public service and have actual ground reports, you got to step up. So click on the subscribe button on the newslaundry.com website and pay to keep news free. We, being an independent platform, depend on our readers, viewers and listeners. Support independent media by subscribing to News Laundry. Go to newslaundry.com, click on the subscribe button at the top and pay to keep news free.